Got a seat? <laughs> Find one? I'm just going to hold up here for a second. We got some people coming in. There is an overflux of people. Where'd you people come from? You people just sitting down? Where? Wisconsin? <laughs> Our cheese is better than your cheese. <laughs> But our football team sucks. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, anyways. Late. <laughs> no, it wasn't necessarily late. How many more people we got out there? Before I start the show, maybe I'll do something that I don't usually do. How many more people out there? How many more people out there? That's it? Who are you, by the way? You ain't goddamn bad looking from here. <laughs> Who are you? You ain't from Wisconsin, are you? Because I'll take a gold. I got some frequent flyer miles, I'll tell you what. You're in trouble, honey. <laughs> there you are. I see a woman out in the lobby. She come up to me, she said, Oh, lucky, lucky, I can't believe you're here. It's you. Oh, I'm a big fan. I think you're funny. My husband thinks you're funny. My daughter thinks you're funny. My son thinks you're funny. I can't wait to see the show, but I gotta go to the bathroom, she said. <laughs> Don't start till I get out. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait. She was filling her gullet pretty gall darn full of Debbie's gall darn carrot cake too, so it could be a oil, you know. Before I start off, though, I'd like to start off. Before I start off, I'd like to start off. I'd like to start off. Before I start off, I'd like to start off. I'd like to make a serious pronouncement. And I don't usually make serious pronouncements in front of people, but got a good crowd of nice people here tonight. So before I start off, I'd like to make a serious pronouncement because it might spur some of you on to do the same thing. You got your homeless people, people ain't got no job, ain't got no money, and they're down on their luck, destitute there. So I'd like to pronounce that I'm going to take 15% of all the earnings that I earn this year, and I'm going to invest them into a goddamn good mutual fund, because I don't want to end up like them poor bastards. <laughs> Patriotic times. There's that lady. Hello. Everything come out all right, did it, honey? I'll, I'll wait till then people get seated and we'll be better off for it. Oh, hey, hello. Hey, hey Mike. Oh, I know that fella. Yeah. Thanks for coming. No problem, you lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Michael, please. One, 85. Young mom, 85. Thank you, mom, for coming, 85 years old. Mom, mom McNulty over there. I tell you, Mrs. McNulty, I hope you got your friggin' depends on because you're gonna piss your britches laughing.
if you just give me a holler if you need any help, honey, because I'll... That gold darn thing is freshly laundered and she's ready to soak. God, Good to see you, Michael and family. But anyways, <clears throat> patriotic times. I'm not a good patriot. I never voted. I told my friend. He said, hell come. I said, I don't know hell. He said, I know hell. And I said, to hell. He said, well, you know when you're driving down the road and you see them signs stuck in the lawn side road, them politicians' name on it? I said, yeah. He says, well, you take a look at them signs stuck alongside the road with them politicians' name on it, and that's how you know how to vote. I said, yeah, but how do you know exactly who to vote for? He says, when you're driving down the road and you see them signs stuck alongside the road with them politicians' name on it, one of them signs keeps popping out, sticking in your mind, staying in your head, that's who you vote for. So I voted for Century 21. <laughs> i tell you a joke, i tell you two things about this next joke. First thing about this next joke is I did not write this next joke. I write all the rest of my other material unless I otherwise note it to you, but I did not write this next joke, and I didn't get it off on the internet either. I don't get my jokes off on the internet, so don't send me none of them internet jokes. I hate them goddamn internet jokes. Second thing I want to tell you about this next joke is if you hear it, you like it, you go home tonight, don't you try telling it, because it ain't going to be funny when you try telling it. <laughs> Old guy was walking through the woods, about 90 years old he was. He hear, hey mister. He looked down, and it's a talking frog. Frog said, mister, pick me up. Old man bends over. Picks up talking frog. Looks at it. Frog said, Mister, you kiss me on the lips, I'll turn into a young, beautiful princess maiden, and you can have your way. <laughs> oh, man. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Frog said, How come? Oh, man. Oh, buddy, at my age, I get more of a kick out of a talking frog. Got to tell you two more jokes. Got to tell you something about these next two jokes, too. First joke, I didn't write it either. It's an old favorite. You probably heard it. And if you did, please don't yell out punchline. Ruin it. It tries to tell you about how an old Vermont farmer's mind works. Second joke, I wrote as a follow-up to the first joke. I think my jokes tell you about how an old Vermont farmer's mind really works even better. Here's the first one. Vermont farmer's standing there with a dog. Flatlander comes up. Hi, does your dog bite? Farmer looks to Flatlander. No. Flatlander bends over, pets a dog on top of the head. Dog turns its head around, bites the Flatlander on the head. Ah, that's awful. I thought you said your dog didn't bite. Farmer looks to Flatlander. That ain't my dog. <laughs> now here's mine. Vermont farmer standing there with a the dog. Flatlander comes up. Hi, does your dog bite? Farmer looks to Flatlander. No. Flatlander bends over, pets a dog on top of the head. Dog turns its head around, bites a Flatlander on the head. Ah, ah, that's awful. I thought you said your dog didn't bite. Farmer looks at the Flatlander. He don't bite me. <laughs> that ain't as funny as the first one, but by God darn it, it's more true to life about hell and over Mount Farmer's mind really works, isn't it? <laughs> if you don't all clap right off, don't bother friggin' clapping it off. <laughs> 